for an official impeachment inquiry into the president of the United States. All this revolving around reports that the president tried to pressure Ukraine's president into investigating Joe Biden's son. Uh, this also stems uh, from a case involving a whistleblower campaign, a complaint. Uh, Speaker Pelosi calling uh, the president's actions a breach of constitutional responsibilities earlier. But as you heard, uh, she is now moving forward, uh, asking committee heads to prepare their cases as they move forward with this process of a possible impeachment. Right now, let's go ahead and bring in our political reporter, Jack Fink. He is standing by live. He is joining us now from the CBS Tower in Dallas. Uh, Jack, you heard the same thing that we all just heard from Speaker Pelosi just a little bit ago. Uh, first of all, your reaction to this and what some of our local members of Congress may be saying to this. Well, first of all, uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the president violated the Constitution, and that is what has led her decision to now call a formal uh, inquiry of impeachment. And I think what's also very interesting, there had been some speculation before that the speaker was going to announce a House Select Committee, one committee to actually oversee this work, her A-team, if you will, but instead she has decided to let the six existing committees, and she went through all of those, uh, oversight, judiciary, uh, foreign affairs, ways and means, financial services, and intelligence. So they're going to all do this work, and I would imagine having six committees do all this work, it's going to take quite a bit of time for them to come up with this, and then each committee is going to have to vote to send it to the full House. And once all that's done, what the House needs is 238 of the 435 votes, a simple majority, to then send that over to the Senate, and it's the Senate that would actually decide whether to convict the president and remove the president. Highly unlikely, because you would need 66 of 100 senators to do that, and let's not forget the majority of them are Republicans. As, as for the House, Ken, you asked about the local House members. I find it very interesting that our three Democratic House members here, uh, two of them for sure, uh, Colin Allred and also Mark Vesey, they have until now said, look, they're not interested in impeachment. But just today, Mark Vesey came out and said he is in full support of impeachment. And Colin Allred said he wanted to wait to see what happens Thursday and whether the uh, office of uh, the, the director of national intelligence hands over this whistleblower report to Congress before he makes a decision. But ultimately, if Nancy Pelosi uh, is favoring this, then perhaps all member, all the Democrats will get there at, at some point. Jack, uh, this seems to be the, uh, just the beginning of what appears to be a very long process uh, that will play out in the next coming days and weeks. Uh, obviously, uh, we're going to rely on you to uh, update, uh, update us uh, just as this uh, process takes place. But for now, Jack, thank you very much. We appreciate it.